You know, ladies and gentlemen, when you think of the great Jill Malash, we think about the great career he had for numerous teams in the NHL uh, with California, Cleveland, Minnesota. But his brother, Eric Malash, was uh, just as talented, played two major league seasons in the WHA with Philadelphia, Vancouver, came out of the Q in the late 70s, excuse me, early 70s, eventually drafted by the California Golden Seals of the NHL and the Miami Screaming Eagles of the WHA. And uh, <clears throat> what he did in the minors was quite interesting because he won uh, playoff titles in the SHL and the CHL and almost uh, officially won an AHL title in Maine in the, in the mid to late 1970s. But before, because of the numbers of the time, uh, he didn't qualify. But Eric Malosh, 5'10", 180, put up some outstanding numbers in, in every league he played in. Now, he first came to major prominence by playing in uh, three of the Quebec uh, International Pee Wee Hockey Tournaments in the mid-1960s for a series of uh, teams from his home uh, town, minor hockey squads in the Montreal area. Now, these teams had great success on the local level and really put his name on the map. Now, at that time, he was getting heavily uh, heavily scouted. He eventually found his way with the Drumville Rangers of the newly formed QMJHL. Put up some really, really uh, decent numbers uh, with uh, uh, 142 points over uh, two, two seasons, which eventually led him to be drafted in the ninth round by uh, the, uh, the California Golden Seals. Now, he decided to bypass the Seals after also being drafted by Miami Screaming Eagles, went to Rotary of the SHL and put up some decent numbers, breaking 30 goals in his, uh, his first season and uh, uh, 79 points. Now, he won a title with Rotary in 74, went out to Salt Lake uh, Golden Eagles uh, in 75, won a title there, and eventually went on to the Maine Mariners, where he uh, was part of that regular season uh, championship squad in the, uh, the, the late 1970s era. He was a CHL Adams Cup winner, again, with Salt Lake in 75, uh, won a, uh, a, a, a title with uh, SHL Crockett Cup, Roanoke Valley in, in, in 74, all started to see In 76 games, including uh, 30, uh, 36 goals. Now, what really stood out about Eric, uh, ladies and gentlemen, especially his, uh, his short period, I think he's played about less than, uh, you know, uh, uh, less than two full seasons with Vancouver and Philadelphia. He was well known for being strong in the corners towards the front of the net. Now, it's so funny because Jill was a very good goalie. I can imagine he might have practice together to perfect that uh, that process. Now, the big question is, why did Eric Malosh not eventually find his way with the Quebec Nordiques of the 73 season or even later on with Montreal of the NHL and even Toronto or uh, the Vancouver uh, Canucks? I think it was more of a numbers game because his minor league, uh, minor league success in the SHL, the CHL, and the AHL made him an in-demand player in the minors. He's probably making good money, but uh, it was so loaded, like uh, my old friend Alan Glominski told me with the 73 uh, Nordiques, they had uh, uh, every part of Quebec represented it. Uh, and, you know, the Blazers were playing good money at the time. Now, I always thought he would end up playing with his brother in, uh, in uh, California. It never worked out. But like I said, the, the amount of respect this player has because three Quebec uh, international pee wee hockey tournaments, two years in Major League Hockey, two leagues drafted him, almost three minor league titles, two official, one unofficial because you got to put in so many games. Eric Malosh, a very, very talented guy. Wasn't scared to drop the gloves every once in a while too, ladies and gentlemen. But look at those beautiful uh, Blazers jerseys. Aren't they gorgeous? We should bring those uh, Blazers uh, uh, jerseys back for just uh, one or two games in the NHL. And uh, maybe the Vancouver Canucks will wear them one of these days. 
I'd like to see like a like a third jersey. Uh, but boys, those Blazer teams, they, they drafted well, ladies and gentlemen, or had some really good players. Uh, you look at the four many shoulders that played there. So ladies and gentlemen, for like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, requests are always appreciated and always, always considered. Thanks for listening. Bye.